Hi, this is Topher with Winning WP. In this video, we're going to take a look at two different options for galleries on your WordPress website. The first one is a very simple one that's built into WordPress, and we're going to end up with something that looks very much like this. The second one is a plugin that you can either buy or download for free, and it's called Modular Gallery, and it allows us to build something that looks very much like this. And I'm showing you two because one is simple and fast. The other is a bit more complex, but can build far more functional and visually interesting galleries. But first, I'd like to talk about which WordPress theme we're using and why. I'm using the latest 2023 theme. This is the latest WordPress default theme. And I chose it because it is the most modern in relation to full site editing or, or being a block theme and that sort of thing. So you're going to get the most modern response out of the plugins that we're going to use. So let's get started. The first gallery block that we're going to look at is the one that's built into WordPress. I have a page here with just a title on it called Gallery Block, and I'm, going, and I'm going to click Edit Page. Now, there are several ways to choose your block. One is you can click here and type slash, and it will bring up a small menu. Another is you can click this plus, and there is another small menu. And lastly, you can click this plus and start typing, and you will see your gallery options. So there's Gallery. I'm a fan of the slash, so I can click there and get a gallery. Now to choose your photos for your gallery, you can either click upload and just put them right on this page or use the media library. I like the media library, so I'm going to use that. Now I've already uploaded a number of photos. This one's in here twice, so I need to remember to skip that. And you can skip that by unchecking it. Now I've chosen all of these images and I click create new gallery in the bottom right. Now here is where I could put in captions or reorder them simply by dragging and dropping. But then I'll click insert gallery. And there we have one just like that. Now there are some options that I'm going to show you. You'll note that one of them had a caption and it renders like this. If you want to add captions, you have to click an image and then click this button and then you can add a caption. Now let's say I want to change the way my images look. If I click block up here in the top right and then choose my gallery block, I have the option for how many images. I can make it one and there would just be a tall column of images. Two gives me large ones, but they're still all kind of uh, the same size. And that's because I have crop images turned on. If I turn that off, then you end up with something like this, which may be what you want. I'm going to leave it on. Then if we go to three, it's the way we saw it when we started, but then there's four, and then five starts to get interesting. They start changing the sizes of them. And so we have this row of tall ones and then a row of square ones and then two large ones underneath. And then it goes back to all small ones. And we end up with a wide variety of options. Um, this row is offset from that row. And then eight looks like that. You can choose what the image is linked to. Right now it's nothing, but you could do the media file or the attachment page. And you can also choose what image is rendered right here with medium, full size, large, and thumbnail. Media makes your page load faster, but they're slightly blurry. Um, I'm going to switch. Watch carefully around the sunset while I switch. I go to large. It just gets a lot clearer, and that's really nice. Now, also, we can switch to styles. We can set a background color, and then we can change block spacing. 
and show how much space is between each image. All the way down to zero. Now that's pretty much it for the simple gallery plugin. Let's click update and then view this page. There it is. And if we click an image, oh, I told mine to do nothing. So let's edit again. And we'll go to block, choose the gallery, and we will link to, I like media file rather than media page. And we'll update. And now if I click, I get the full size image. And that's it for the gallery block. As I said, it's very simple, very fast, but doesn't have a lot of features. So you really need to decide which you value most, the speed and simplicity or a lot of features. If you're looking for features, the next one I wanna show you is the Modula Gallery. Now Modula is not built into WordPress. It is a plugin. There is a free version, which I'm going to show you, as well as a paid version. And the paid version can come with quite a few add-ons, albums and sliders and password protections and all kinds of things like that. It can do masonry, custom grid, automatic layouts, etc. Let me give you a quick walkthrough because it's pretty cool. Now, one thing that's interesting about Modula is that you don't create a gallery on your page. You create it somewhere else and then simply include it here. So let's go to our dashboard. We'll click Modula and then there's galleries. And we will add new. Here's a little pitch for Pro. And then we come down here and here's where we insert our images. You can, again, upload or select from library. Now this library interface is default uh, WordPress. We'll skip our, one of our duplicates there and we will go to add gallery. So there are our photos, but then we come down here and we have lots and lots of options. The creative gallery, custom grid and masonry, but I'm gonna save real quick so that we don't lose what we have. Now, right here, we can choose, again, Creative Gallery, Custom Gritter Masonry. We're going to take a glance at all of them. Uh, the gutter is the space between images. We have 10 pixels. Width is 100%. Uh, so the gallery is 100%. Image size, medium. Let's go with large. And crop is set to false. Our gallery height is 800 on desktop, tablet, and mobile. You'll note that uh, these three are desktop, tablet, and mobile as well. Um, a randomosity factor, so you can have them ordered randomly. And the factor is 50, which be less random than 100 or more random than zero. But the random only matters if you choose to shuffle them. And then you could choose to say powered by and have that on. Then there are also over here options for what to do when they're clicked. I have them opening in Lightbox, and I'll show you what that looks like. And then I have no navigation arrows turned on. But these are more things that could go into Lightbox, and there are a lot. Filters are pro, and they do visual filters on your images. Captions. What do your captions look like? Are they colored? Are they not? Are they white? Are they large, small, whatever? You can set that here. You can enable a social bar and then choose which networks are in it. There are loading effects. You can uh, have a load in effect so that it makes it look like they're coming in from the side or whatever. I'm going to leave that off. Hover effects. These three. So look, um, when I hover it, it darkens a little. But then this one my social bar appears with the description and then over here the description comes up from the bottom etc and then there are some premium ones as well 
So those are hover effects. Video is in pro. Style, you can set border radiuses, colors, um, shadow size, etc. Then these are all pro as well, but there's speed up, active information, download, zoom, etc. So let's take a look at what this looks like. I'm going to update my gallery. Then I'm going to go to the page and edit that. And choose modular gallery, display existing. Oh, you know what? I never gave it a name. So right now it's number 104. Let's go ahead and give it a name. Right here. Then we do modula again. Display existing, and there's my gallery. And this is what creative looks like. See how they're uh, adjusted for size. And then I mentioned that if I click, I get light box. That only works in the front end. So um, let's, uh, there aren't really any settings on this page because they're all on the other page. So let's take a look at what the page looks like. Remember I said there were load in effects. They kind of swooshed in. And if I click an image, that's Lightbox. And then with Lightbox arrows, I don't necessarily have to look at the gallery. I can just click through like this. And then click the X to get out. So that's what that gallery style looks like. If I choose instead, uh, let's do masonry. And the column type is however many we want. I'm going to choose, leave it at automatic. Row height, uh, last row adjustment is justify. You could choose the sizes again, all that stuff. So let's look what masonry looks like. Similar idea, but it's a little less intelligent about resizing them all. So we end up with quite a few that are large size. Um, however, that's only two column. Well, that was automatic. Let it set it specifically to three column. That's better. But now we have this jagged bottom. So creative, I think, was better than masonry. But now let's look at what I think is the best. We can choose custom grid. Now, custom grid lets us decide which size they all are. So, without doing anything, I'm just going to save this and we'll take a look. They're all square. But let's come back here and say, I really like this one. And. I want this one to be tall. This one, uh, let's do let's do the river and make it extra wide because it's a river. Oh, that didn't work. There we go. Um, then we'll make this one fill out there so that it fills in that space. And I really like the crab. So let's make him... Oh, I can't make him full size. Um, let's pull him over here and make him big and square. Then oh, let's make him a little taller. There we go. And then the potato... Ch no? Yeah, okay. Data chip big, Oop, a little smaller, but I want it all the way over here. Let's see, let's put the river here, a little narrower. Can we make the chip taller? Yes, and then the bird wider. There we go. 
Now I have specifically focused on some that I want. And uh, you know what? I don't like these two being large together. So let's make the chip tall and narrow. And then, yes, there we go. I'll move the turtle over here. Put the cloud there. There. Now I have this pseudo random sizing. And I just did it by dragging them around. So I click update. And we reload our gallery here. And that's what it looks like. And still, when I click, I get the light box. So let's review a little bit. The gallery block is super simple. It's super fast. It's built in. You don't have to leave your page to build one. You just whip one up. And if that's what you need in your blog, it's really the best. It's really fast and it's great. Modula, on the other hand, can make really unique and attractive galleries and has a ton of add-ons and features. And so if you're if you need to make something really gorgeous, then I recommend Modula. If you'd like even more great content, check out winningwp.com. And also, subscribe to this YouTube channel.